Hey, happy new year. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over a trade I took on the first trading day of 2023. So I hope everyone out there has your new year's resolutions set. We're going to work towards those goals on a daily basis. So in 2022, you know, it was a rough trading year and I paper traded for the remainder of the year and focused on my business. I've tested out a bunch of strategies and once I really found price action, removed all indicators, began to be more consistent with my trades and have more confidence and belief in my trades because I learned how to trade in a bear market instead of just in a bull market. And that was the struggle. I honestly learned how to become consistently profitable in a bull market, like most traders that are out there now probably. But um, you know, I was starting to take big losses on trades, so just completely just turned it off, focused on business, focused on paper trade on the side. And once I found out the strategies that worked best for me and dove into my, my own education more, I started to build confidence because I was consistently profitable again and began to trade again with real money and just consistently slowly sizing up as we go. So I currently trade ES futures and NQ futures. So ES is the S&P 500. It's a lot more cleaner than, than NQ. NQ is the NASDAQ. I focus more on the five and the 15 minute on my day trade account. And then I have a swing trade account where I'll focus more on the 30 minute, four hour and daily. And I'll use smaller size on the swing trade account, just kind of like a set and forget. And the day trade account is more for taking daily trades using the five and 15 minute. So we're gonna talk about a five and 15 minute trade that I took on NASDAQ. So it was a long yesterday. We were trending down all day and uh, the 30 minute created a bullish market structure shift higher. This is the 30 minute chart again, by the way. So once we created this first 30 minute candle around uh, 2 p.m., then this next 30 minute candle, I wrote this down right here. If the first 15 minute retraces, second 15 minute breaks this high, go long for at least resistance to the left. So. It ended up being a one-to-one -one trade, and most of my trades are one-to-one -one or two-to-one, um, especially more on the shorter time frames. But on the longer time frames, you can focus more on a, on a three-to-one, four-to-one with NQ and ES. So with this trade, I was watching, and uh, yeah, first 15 minute was red. If we went to the 15 minute chart, you would see it's a red candle. Then the next candle broke above. Got in long, uh, entry being 10,902, TP being 10,925. And I took profit early, why? Because we started to come up to the first resistance and then I set break even for the remainder. So I like to take partials when we come up to resistance, set the rest of break even, and then it ended up pushing up into take profit with the rest of the partials. So that's kind of the strategy I like to use when I'm doing day trades. I'll set a target, I'll have like one target, two targets, or my third target. After it hits target one, I'll take off partials and I'll move stops break even. If we get stopped out on the rest, Oh well, but uh, it's a risk-free trade at that point. And then I'll usually take off the majority at take profit too. And I might have runners or I might just not have runners. Reason I had no runners in this one because we were downtrending all day. So there's there was no reason for me to go ahead and expect that we're gonna make a, a huge push near the end of the day. I typically trade 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then I'll have just a one or two trades with smaller size at, at the 2 p.m. area. But majority of my trades are 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, just because there's most volume there and you can really get the, the bigger push. Here's the 15 minute chart on that same trade. So as you can see, since the open, you know, we swept highs and then we dumped on news. There was news at 9.45. Dumped and then just had a super easy clean downtrend uh, all day until we, we bottomed around the afternoon. And what you'll notice sometimes when you're trading is um, the morning session might be a, a trend day down and then the afternoon session might be the opposite. So. Well, what I was kind of anticipating is, you know, we swept lows. Uh, once we had the bullish market structure shift higher on the 30 minute, I kind of thought, hey, you know what? From here on out, we will likely uptrend for the rest of the day. So let's start looking for longs. You know, in the morning, just because we're downtrending doesn't mean that we can't have an uptrend in the rest of the day, especially if we have uh, prior clues, right? So we had this push up at about one o'clock. And then later, uh, we had the 15 minute red candle and we dipped even lower. And then as soon as we broke, that was our signal to go long or in the 10.905 area to push up for resistance to the left. And that's where we had resistance to the left. And that's where we took the partial profit, came down and it pushed back up to uh, our take profit. So that was just one trade for the day. Uh, we had another trade early on and on ES. Last trade was on the ES using the five minutes. So once we swept highs, um, we had this big push on news, huge red, red candle shifting market structure down. Once we had the, the retest uh, after on this candle, that's when it was our signal to get in short uh, for new lows as a target. And uh, we got an average of uh, 338.66 and then TP was set at uh, 38.56. So we just took 10 points on this one 
and I didn't have any runners or anything set because we were already making new lows. So I figured, you know, there's a high possibility we could just bounce back up and retrace into the 3887 level. So I just took the 10 points and then got out and that one was on regular size. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see more of. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.